Uh, we retired when I was 29 and Emily was also had just turned 29. <laughs> yeah, uh, he, he was just about to turn 30, so we wanted to get in right under the wire. <laughs> and we've been retired for about five years now. So we met in college my freshman year, so I was 18 uh, when we met, and we uh, we realized pretty immediately like that this works. So by the time I was 20, we were married, <laughs> and. By the time I was 21, we were moving to Las Vegas as teachers and starting our careers and figured out that we could uh, keep living like college students and save a bunch of money. My first year teaching, I made 32000 and Allie was a substitute that year and made 18000 <laughs> Yeah, um, so we were making a lot, but then she got a full-time job with the district and over the years, our salary bumped up um, to where our final year, we were making 40 Four thousand each, so um, eighty-eight thousand combined. Uh, we worked for eight years, and throughout those eight years, we did everything we could to raise our income. Um, we were teaching, we were tutoring after school, we were teaching Saturday school. Ali would grade the high school proficiency exams. We did summer school every year, and to reduce our costs, we were living in a little four hundred square foot apartment. We like had one car that I had gotten back in college, and. We kept that the whole way through and um, everything we could to just keep costs down. We weren't depriving ourselves. Um, we weren't unhappy. We just enjoyed um, simpler things like having a picnic in the park. Um, watching, a lot of walks. <laughs> yeah, we, we enjoyed walking, watch, watching a movie at home. Um, it was it was like when you were in college living like a broke college student, you weren't unhappy. We just kind of continued that throughout our 20s and sort of lived like a broke college student and were able to, to save all that. There was a huge housing crash, right, in, in the Great Recession and Vegas got hit really hard. And um, I, I was like, we should buy some rental properties. Oh, look how, how cheap the prices are compared to what they were a year ago. So, so we bought a rental property and then the price kept falling. And so then the next year in 2008, we were like, whoa, look how great the prices are compared to a year ago. This is a no-brainer. We bought another cap falling. Um, if you average all the numbers over our eight-year career, we were making about 100000 a year um, if you combine our base salaries and all the side gig income and everything we did to, to boost that. Um, so we were making about 100000 a year and we were spending about 20000 The 80000 difference, we just kept investing in rentals over and over. Um, and so eight years of about 80,000 a year, got us a little over 600,000 saved, all put into rentals, which kind of snowballed making their own income. And uh, eventually we, we had enough that we said, all right, let's, um, let's try not working and see how that goes. <laughs> Invest in you. Ready, set, grow. CNBC and Acorns.